Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and it's going to be this look in the picture now. So what I'm going to start off doing is just using my Active Moist Moisturiser by Dermalogica and I'm just going to start putting that onto my face, making sure that my skin is ready for some makeup. So I'm just putting that all around my face and if you want to know any of the products just comment below and I'll tell you which one it is because I can't be bothered to write them all up. I'll try and tell as much as I can if I remember. Okay, so now I'm putting my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly as a base on my eyelids. And this is just going to give it a sort of clean surface to work with. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to take my Naked One palette and I'm going to use the colour Virgin. And I'm just going to take this all over my eyelid. And I'm going to use the lighter colour and then a darker colour and then the darkest colour to make a sort of smoky eye look. And if you're wondering what colour this is, if you don't have the Naked palette, it's sort of like a creamy, sort of white colour. It has quite a lot of shimmer in it. So I'm just putting that all over the eye and I'm blending that in. Now I'm going to use Omega from MAC. And I'm just using this with a... What's the brush called? I think it's called a Base Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just putting that in my crease just to add some dimension to the eye. So I'm just blending that in. And this is sort of just a really blank colour. It's exactly like the colour Naked from the Naked palette. Now I'm taking the colour Gunmetal, which is like a really shimmery sort of gunmetal colour. I don't know how to explain it, it's like grey. And I'm just putting that in my crease and sort of bringing it up a bit higher than my actual crease. And I'm blending that in with a MAC 217. And you want to make this really blended because you don't want there to be any harsh lines. So I'm just taking any fallout with a makeup wipe. Now I'm taking Beauty Marked, which is a really nice sort of really deep burgundy shimmery colour, which sort of blends out into a grey blacky colour. And I'm just using this as the darkest colour. So I'm blending this out as well. You don't have to blend this out as much if you don't want to, if you want a more dramatic look. But you do have to blend it out. What I'm doing now is I'm going to take a Eco Tools fine Oh, I don't know what it's called. It's either like a fine liner brush or it's an eye eyebrow brush, but it's just the slanted one in the set that I got. And I'm just taking the Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner in black, and that's number one. And I'm just using a gel liner because I think it looks better with this look instead of the liquid eyeliner. Now you could look, use a liquid eyeliner or a pencil if you like, but I just prefer to use this. And I'm making a thin line with sort of a winged edge but you can make it as thick as you like or you don't have to include the wing if you don't want to. Now I'm taking some eyelash curlers. I think of mine are by QVS and you can get them in boots for about £6 or something like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just using it normally but bending it up as I do it to make them even more curled. And I'm just putting on mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And I'm using the Falsies Black Drama Mascara. Now I'm taking the MUA eyeliner and this is only a pound and it's in jet black. To conceal, I'm just using a foundation that I just pumped a few squirts into the Barry M pot thing that I had left over, just because I don't think I need a heavy coverage for them, and yeah, so I'm just covering any blemishes that I have as best as I can, but you can use your normal concealer if you have need heavier coverage. I 
under my eyes I'm going to use a much more heavier coverage concealer and it's the Last Infection Collection 2016 Hour Wear um, Concealer and my colour is in light too. So I'm just blending this under my eyes. Yeah. And then I'm using a contour brush by Real Techniques and the MAC blush in Harmony to contour my cheeks. This is going to help them to look slimmer and just have a little colour on your face. I'm also blending that up to the temples as well to make it look a lot more natural. Then I'm taking a multitask brush to, brush to blend that in. Now I did this in a random order but I'm going to do my eyebrows now and I'm just using Omega by MAC just to fill in a tiny bit of where I have sparse bits like at the edges and I'm just using a Real Techniques eyebrow brush for that. And then I'm just making it look a lot more natural and taking out some of the colour with a brow and lash creamer by Royal Langnickel. Now I'm taking my Sleek Blush Wipe by Free Palette and my Blush by Royal Techniques and I'm taking the colour Guipure from the Palette Lace. Putting this on the apples of my cheeks. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Moisture Renew Cream Lip Gloss by Rimmel London in Fuchsia Therapy because I don't want too much on the lips because of the eyes. So I really hope you enjoyed this look guys and if you want me to do anything else or you have any requests for me just comment them below. Bye!